Hey y'all, what's up? Welcome back to Rockland Reacts. My name is Rockland. I'm trying to knock out a few videos so we can um, have um, con content for you guys for the, for the next few days. So today um, I am taking a suggestion from one of the, the subscribers. His name is Zachary Chapman 6691 and he wanted me to look at uh, Jesselnick, Anthony Jesselnick and this is his, ten, his top 10 darkest jokes compilation. Well, the one that I found, it says part one, so I don't know if it's going to be all ten or if there's ten here and then there's going to be another ten on a different video, but I'll definitely try to get through them all. All right, so let's just get into it. Um, before I get into it, make sure you guys like and subscribe, and like I said, the Patreon is here if you want to support the channel. I'd really appreciate it. That way, I, that way it can make sense for me <laughs> to be sitting here making these videos, especially, especially sometimes um, my videos, they get... Uh, demonetize and block so that that makes this process pretty frustrating but with the patreon i think that that would make things a little bit better because nothing makes people work more than money <laughs> all right here we go this is going to be uh anthony jesselneck jesselneck and this is his top 10 darkest dark mess darkest jokes here we go i'm 12 years old i'm sneaking around my house and I found my dad's porn in the back of the attic. That was a great day. That was a game changer for me. But then the worst day of my life was the day I found my mom's porn in the back of that video store. My sister and her husband live next to a bunch of cell phone towers. And they're concerned it's going to affect the health of their children, you know, if they can stop having miscarriages. It is so great to be here doing stand-up for a group of Muslims. How can you tell the difference between a regular Muslim and a terrorist? Ow. I have no idea. And that's kind of the problem, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, there's some things I just don't understand. Like, I've never understood the foot fetish. You know what I mean? Like, are you guys together right here? No. Are you guys together right here? All right, don't be such a bitch about it. <laughs> How long you been together? Five years. Wow. Does he ever suck on your feet? No. Would you if you had a different girlfriend? <laughs> it was like, so you're like across the board, no feet. That's what I'm like. Yeah. Like I once went on a date with a girl. First date, and we went hiking. Her idea. And while we're hiking, she gets bit by a snake in between two toes <laughs> and I had to suck out the poison so she's dead <laughs> I just read the biography of the guy who invented Super Mario Brothers did you know that when he was a kid people used to laugh at him when he would kill turtles with a hammer <laughs> my ex-girlfriend owned a parakeet did you guys Hear what I just said? <laughs> she owned a parakeet. Oh my God. That thing never shut up. But the bird was cool. <laughs> and people get weird when kids die. Oh, that's a fact. Like about a month ago, some kids in my neighborhood are playing hide and go seek. And one of them ended up in an abandoned refrigerator. It's all anybody talked about for weeks. I said, who cares? How many kids do you know get to die a winner? <laughs> you don't know anything about pain. You don't know anything about pain until you've seen your own baby drowned in a tub. And you definitely don't know anything about how to wash a baby. <laughs> This is true. My, uh, my mom actually should have been on one of the planes that crashed on 9-11. I think. <laughs> There's a lot of bad jobs out there. I'll tell you that right now. A lot of bad jobs. Hell, my Uncle John runs a summer camp for kids about to get molested. <laughs> I know, right? I know it sounds awful. Sounds awful, but he loves it. He's like... <laughs> 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 
says he's never worked a day in his life. <laughs> Doesn't pay that much, but the benefits. <laughs> Do you guys have any kids? How many? I have one and he has two. Okay. Have you guys ever done that thing where you go online and you try to see how many sex offenders live around you? Isn't it crazy? Isn't it way more than you would ever think? You think it might be like one or two. No, it's like chicken pox. <laughs> I went online, 15 child molesters. 15 child molesters within five miles of my apartment. So why do we always have to meet at my place? <laughs> All right, yeah, I don't know if that was Tin Joe. Sorry. That seemed like it was about, I don't know, I wasn't counting. But yeah, he's he's a nut case, man. But at least, at least I guess everybody in the audience, they knew what they were signing up for when they said that they was going to an Anthony Joseph uh, concert or routine. I, the guy explained them to me before how to word the different parts of a comedy stand-up. But um, I guess I'll go read that again because I've, I've been lost track. But anyway, thanks again for checking me out on Rockland Reacts. My name is Rockland. Make sure you join the Patreon. We can watch the entire videos of all of those stand-ups. And I really appreciate And my, my, my subscribers have went up tremendously. And I really appreciate you guys for subscribing. Uh, keep on subscribing. I would hope to get to a thousand subscribers at some point. So thanks for, thanks for checking me out. And I will see you guys next time. Peace out.